Yo, yo, yo. We back with another one. Pastor Charles Brooks. My all-time favorite. He's he's speaking about um presumptuous sin and deliberate sin, grieving the Holy Spirit. Let's hear what he got to say on this, alright? Let's go. what the Bible says. Numbers chapter 15 verses 30 and 31. Listen, it says, but that soul or the soul that doeth aught presumptuously. How? The soul that doeth aught, that means anything, presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproacheth the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people because he hath despised the word of the Lord and hath broken his commandment that soul shall be cut off his iniquity shall be upon him strong yes solemn yes the soul that does it deliberately despises the word do we have any idea what a privilege it is to know the word of God do we have any idea in a world of confusion when men take one text and shut their Bibles and the rest of it comes from them to have a chance to listen to the Word of God text after text, the Bible supporting and strengthening itself? Do we have an idea what a privilege that is? The Bible says when a man deliberately commits sin, he despises the Word. That means he doesn't value it. He doesn't care about it. And God said that soul will be cut off. <sighs> that's super strong, man. That, that's a lot. That's a lot. Because this type of stuff is not taught or preached in today's church. So, I mean, I figured I would bless you guys with this one. This next part, super, super dope to me. The way he breaks this down. Check this out. Or tonight we all ought to pray that in first Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 19 Paul wrote to the church quench not the spirit quench not the spirit what does that mean one writer said when you are thirsty and you drink water it quenches your thirst am I right so that you don't feel thirst anymore it's gone you can keep sinning until you can't feel the impress of God's Spirit. You can't hear the voice of God in your conscience. Honestly, the Holy Spirit doesn't leave us. We leave Him. In Genesis chapter 6, God is talking to Noah. He told him to build an ark. He said, because these people have gone too far. And in verse 3, God said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. You keep on doing it. Repeated transgression. Doing it over. Headlong, headstrong, rebellion. You keep doing it. And one day, known only to God, the Holy Spirit will go and not come back. And that is unpardonable. Suppose a young man, a nice, decent young man, sees a lovely girl. And he decides, oh, I admire her. Maybe uh, we could get. Here he goes with one of his analogies, one of his stories. I love this about him. He always got something that he can relate to his messages. And he makes things easy to understand, man. That's why I love this guy. ...and develop a relationship and she could become my wife. So he approaches her, and she is also uh, enamored of him. And so he asks if he may come over on Sunday for a date. And she joyfully says, yes. Why, don't you know that young man can hardly wait? <laughs> he goes to the shop, and he buys a quart of good ice cream. <laughs> Puts on his best suit and his tie. Goes over and knocks on the door. And when she comes to the door, 
instead of being prepared to receive him, Ralph Jones is sitting on the couch. It's embarrassing to the young man. And so he tries to be gracious and he offers them the ice cream. She and Ralph would eat his ice cream and he goes home with a broken heart. Well, she calls him up around Wednesday and she says, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have allowed that. We had a date and I should have remembered, but please come Sunday. And he gets his hope renewed. He goes and buys a half dozen long stem roses. He gets excited again, puts on his suit again, puts on his tie again. Goes over on Sunday, knocks on the door. And as soon as she comes to the door, he looks in and Bob Smith is sitting on the couch. <laughs> well, she comes up with another apology. He forgives. He gets excited again. He thinks she's worthy. So he goes this time and he buys another nice little gift, a bottle of expensive perfume, and he comes over Sunday, according to their date, knocks on the door, and Benny Brown is sitting on the couch. Now let me tell you, if that young man has any good sense at all, he gonna give up on her. She's pushed him too far. How many times have I gotta go through this? He suddenly begins to realize she lacks character. She's not the type that would make him a good wife anyhow. And so he leaves her alone. Goes on about his business looking for somebody else who is worthy. If every time the Holy Ghost comes, you got the devil sitting on the couch, sooner or later, Holy Spirit is going to decide, I'm going to leave that soul alone. That soul is not for real. That soul does not keep his word. I am going to leave him alone. Man, as we see, presumptuous sin, sinning against the truth, sinning against knowledge can quench the Holy Ghost. It can grieve the Holy Spirit, and that can be the unpardonable sin. I'm going to leave this link in my description so you guys can check this out all right so don't forget like share comment subscribe be blessed